Yo, share the recipe. Share the recipe. This is amazing. I really like it. Mm. Brand new drink, banana milk. Hey guys, it's Inka. As y'all know, I make a lot of food videos here at BuzzFeed and I love the concept of viral foods. But I'm also thinking, you know, how sometimes I'm scrolling through my Instagram feed and I just see certain food items blow up out of nowhere. Rainbow bagels or like unicorn ice cream. I find it fascinating and I really want to figure out, you know, how do these food items become viral on the internet? Recently, Ben and Andrew from Boba Guys reached out to me and asked if I wanted to make a custom boba drink with them. I love boba tea. And I think this is a really cool opportunity for me to see if I can make my drink go viral. So let's go to Boba Guys. So I finally made it out here to the Boba Guys Canal Street Market location. As you can see, I am holding a lot of stuff in my hands. These are three of my favorite childhood drinks. There's chrysanthemum tea. I drank this like all the time when I, I was in Hong Kong. Milo, which is like a classic breakfast drink. And then there's Korean banana milk. I only got to drink this though when I got really good grades. So this is really special to me. You think we can make something out of this? I think there's a hit in there. You think so? What we usually do is uh, we'll make it like a base recipe and then we can see where that goes. Let's try them all, you know? All right, so I guess we have a lot of experimenting to do. Let's do it. Awesome. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. All three of the drinks, all three of them are incredible, but I really think the Korean banana milk drink is my favorite. I mean, I love bananas, but also I think this has the potential to go viral the most. It's prevalent in Korean culture, but it's also such a popular flavor. I think we have something here. We definitely think it's something that we can have in almost any boba shop, cafe, or across the world. I think that was our first shot. I mean, it's pretty good, but we should probably keep refining this because right now it's kind of yes. simple. I know who can take it to the next level. He's yeah. obsessed with banana milk. He could probably help us take this to the next level. All right, I'm excited. Let's um, elevate this even more. So I heard uh, Chow and Ben talk to you about Korean banana milk. Yes. I'm super, super stoked that they're doing a drink and you guys are featuring this because it really is my childhood. I am dead serious. Take a shot of that. Being this is right. the actual Korean banana milk bottle. Mm -hmm. I already do inject that stuff in my bloodstream. It's my fuel. I heard you guys made a version of it. Okay, now I don't know if I should give you the version that we made. Let's just try this. It's, it's good. It's not... Korean banana milk though. I think it's missing a couple things. So hopefully we can kind of like mess around with it and bring it to the Korean banana milk level. We start with bananas. Griper the better. Some uh, coconut cream, just okay. to kind of give it that nice like mouthfeel. I like brown sugar because it kind of rounds it out. One thing that I kind of noticed from your drink it was it wasn't, I don't think it was balanced. It was just kind of like banana and then like sweet. Right. Um, I think some sort of acid, a few drops of uh, lemon juice might really help out. It's kind of like how you put salt in a chocolate chip cookie. Exactly. We're gonna just blend it together. Once you cook it down, it becomes this nice a uh, beautiful jam kind of marmalade consistency. I smell it. Yeah. It smells like banana, banana, banana cake, you know? Mm. I love banana cake. Oh, it tastes so good. Mm -hmm. This is the base to kind of all the drinks. So use this and to, you know, add milk, whatnot, and then this will be kind of the good start to a true Korean banana milk. Why don't you try it? I'm so excited. Um... Oh, yeah. The jam was good by itself, but mm -hmm. with milk, it's like, Perfect. Mm. Right? That's that's cream banana milk. Dookie's a right? genius. We need Ben and Andrew to try this. Yes. Hold on, hold on. Ben and Andrew, please. Wow. Our job is to make mm. everything scale. I think we can bring this to thousands of people now. Mm. This is great. Good? Good? Synchronize it. Yay! Chop, chop. Let's get this going. Let's make it viral. So I had a few days before the drink was to be launched, and so I started doing some research into the different ways that we could kick this off. And one of the ways I found was actually influencer marketing, which is a very common way to spread the word nowadays. And so I started texting a lot of my friends to see if they'd be down to help out, assuming they liked the drink. And a lot of them did. And then a day or two before the drink was to be launched, they started posting their stories. <laughs> Today is a very special day because we're at Bubble Guys. Does it taste like childhood? It's absolutely <laughs> Way better. Boba Guys also posted about it on their official account, and I also posted about it on my Instagram. Then we go to the cool part, because once these went up, people started talking about it, words start spreading, and that's when the comments start rolling in. I went to Bobo Guys for the first time, I swear, there were four people in front of me and they told me that's the reason they went there. 
just to try the drink. Guys, look at this line. It's out the door. That's insane. So we could already see signs of people being excited about it. And there were lines like even across the country. And while all of this is happening, I'm also thinking, what if I could get some numbers in here? And so I looked up Korean banana milk on Google Trends, and I could actually see a significant increase in search results for it, which was so incredible. I have some super exciting news. Bin told me that the drink, 1,000 of them have been sold in only four days. Only four days, and they were all weekdays. So that's super exciting. I think we're on the right track here. And just to amp it up even more, I decided to really lean into food photography with the help of my friend, Ben. This is Ben. <laughs> what's up? That's what's happening right now. Let's hope we get the shot we want. in the middle of the street. Ben's right here. We're gonna take a couple of shots and see what it looks like. <laughs> Trying another shot. We just tried so many attempts to get this shot. We did it! And then a week later, Ben posted the photos we took on his food Instagram. And the comments were just so positive. It reminded people of their childhood and people wanted to try it. Boba Guys also reposted the photos with really, really similar results in the comment sections. And we could really see that interest growing organically. But the best part of it all was probably having my favorite Korean hip hop group, Epic High, try the drink. I taste a little bit of coconut, taste some banana. Is it, am I right? It's real banana. banana. Is it oh, it's Korean. Oh my god, it's so good! How do you do it? And that's about it. I can't say the drink has gone mega viral or anything, but it's been an incredible journey and it's really cool being able to see people try something that I had a part in creating and also being able to see people connect to it. If you haven't tried the drink yet, definitely go try it out and tell me what you think in the comments below.